Hi guys, I'm glad you're tuning in with today's video. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. And in today's video, we'll be covering the following topic. So an Ethereum whale managed to lose 21,336 ETH. We'll be looking at Coinbase addition of 18 new digital assets, which also include some very interesting DeFi projects. And last but not least, a really interesting example on how DAI is being implemented into an online game and what kind of benefits this online game can gain by adding this stable coin. An array of interesting topics. The cryptocurrency space never gets boring and that's why I'm so passionate about it. So sit back, relax and enjoy today's episode. My name is Kieran. I create DeFi and crypto videos to make sure that you are ready for the next bull run. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit the red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that I can send you updates as soon as I release new videos. Let's start talking about a costly mistake. And yeah, possibly this mistake could happen to anyone, but it happened to an Ethereum well. So imagine the following situation. You may be sitting on a beach, in the Bahamas and you've got maybe 45,000 ETH in a wallet and you decide to send some of this ETH to another Ethereum address. However, you swap the amount that you'd like to send with the fees. And that's apparently what happened not only once, but twice to an anonymous Ethereum whale. And he managed to send $133 worth of ETH from one address to another and then pay an exorbitant amount of fees and the amount was 10,668 ETH in fees, which is a crazy mind-blowing amount. Its valuation is just above 2.6 million US dollars. However, I mentioned he didn't only do this mistake once, he did it twice. He sent another amount, I think around 350 ETH. And again, again, he sent this with an exorbitant amount of fees, 10,668 ETH to be precise. Now, many people have been speculating, is it a, 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 a human error? Did he actually swap out the amount to send and the fee amount? Or is it maybe a bug um, due to um, badly written uh, software? or malfunctioning software, or the third option that many people have been uh, mentioning is money laundering. Now, I believe the two most likely reasons is either money laundering or a technical error. And uh, the money laundering one is probably also not likely because the fees are being mined by a public pool. So it wouldn't really make sense to send such amount of fees to a public pool, a public mining pool. So yeah, it's, it's actually really crazy. And in total, this Ethereum whale has now lost 21,336 ETH worth 5.2 million US dollars within 24 hours. But what's actually very generous is that the two Ethereum pools that received these massive amount of fees have been discussing a possible solution to send the ETH back. And it gives me a lot of hope um, since the cryptocurrency space is riddled with scammers. Um, such a message is a breath of fresh air. If you'd like to check the Ethereum transaction, I'll link it down below so you can look it up in the Ether Scan Explorer. You can look at um, from who the transaction's from to who it was sent, and you can look at the transaction fee. I think it's very. Let's talk about the new Coinbase additions, and Coinbase is planning on adding 18 new digital assets, and some of these assets are DeFi projects. It's not surprising that after this news was published, many of these coins experienced a price growth around 8 to 25%. And the new assets that are supposed to be added are Aave, Aragon, Arweave, Banker, Comp, Digibyte, Horizon, LivePeer, New Cypher, Numerare, Keep Network, Origin Protocol, Ren, Render Network, Coin, Scale Network, Synthetix, and VeChain. I'm really happy about the new addition of many DeFi projects to Coinbase 
because it will allow millions of Coinbase users to become more familiar with DeFi apps and what they have to offer. And this will hopefully lead to further adoption. And when talking about adoption, the DeFi space is growing exponentially. I'd like to share with you a statement by Zerion DeFi project founder, Evgeny Yurtev. And he shared a graphic on Twitter showing the number of new assets almost doubling in the last month and commented that the growth looks exponential to him. This graphic clearly paints a bullish picture for the DeFi space. And the fantastic thing is that the number of new assets has finally reached over 1000 for the first time since last month. And Uniswap protocol has um, added 75% additional tokens, which is very good. I also really like the following statement. DeFi is the new fintech. It all comes down to the cost of distribution. The internet brought it close to zero for the content. However, it did not happen in finance. And that's exactly what DeFi does. It allows users to benefit from financial tools without having to ask for permission. The financial tools are very easy to use. They're fast and they also have very low transaction fees. And hopefully with um, future scaling and technologies, they will become a lot faster and a lot cheaper to use. So in my opinion, it can only go <laughs> up from here on out. Talking about users, we're on the road to 600,000 DeFi users. And that's based on the graphics provided by Dune Analytics. The total number of DeFi users hit 193,000 in May. And a lot of these users came from Kyber 74,360 and Uniswap 70,739. And there's also additional 362,000 users using DAI. However, in the following graphic, they have been excluded. When talking about the possibilities for the DeFi space, it's still ridiculously small. The total market cap for all DeFi projects is barely over 2 billion US dollars. You can view the total market caps for different decentralized finance projects on DeFiMarketCap.io. I think it's very interesting to look at them and see what kind of projects are in the lead and which ones are catching up. What is actually very interesting is when we look at the amount of gas used on the Ethereum blockchain and we divide it into complicated gas transfers and simple gas transfers. What do we mean with that? Well, complicated is when um, the gas is used in a smart contract. So utility based usage and value transfers. That means if I'm sending ETH or ESC20 tokens from one address to another. And we want, what we'd ideally want is for a massive amount of these gas um, fees to be attributed to complex transactions, smart contracts, because that means that most of the gas is used in utility. So an increasing number of transactions are of the complex kind. That means utility based transactions, people using smart contracts. And we'd ideally want these transactions to increase over time. That means that people are using the Ethereum blockchain, not just to transfer value, but as a use case, they're finding utility in it. In my opinion, the amount of complex transactions, the green ones are just going to increase steadily the more people start using decentralized finance applications. And the amount that is being sent as ETH value transfers is going to be reduced. The last thing I'd like to share with you is the implementation of DAI in an online game. And I think it's interesting because they're not only adding a stable coin into this online game, they're actually implementing a whole economy and many different games they have their own economies for example 
Counter-Strike Global Offensive has their skin economy, PUBG has a skin economy, but it's a very complicated system to actually be able to build a fully working economy. An easiest way to do it is implementing a ESC20 token or just a stable coin like DAI into your online game and you already have an economy that your users can use and the NFT tokens or the coins in your game actually have real world value. So I quickly play this clip so that you can look at this game in action now in my uh, in my travels i actually managed to cite a daenerys live in the wilderness dropping die coins everywhere look at that beautiful dragon the cute big eyes and just all of these valuable coins is falling out of it so in the game forgotten artifacts you can run around and hunt for daenerys which is a very fun Pun. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you a fantastic day. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.